Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Christine's helping me today. She's being very brave. We are doing uh, something here with the spring and the sling to support the side body exercises on the reformer. So to help progress your clients into the mermaid side plank or the, the star side plank, just gives a little bit more support and helps to educate and progress them into being able to do the exercise on their own and being brave enough to being, being able to do it on their own. So Christine, I have a, a lot of springs on here so the carriage isn't gonna move. I'm gonna hold it. She's gonna step on and she's lunging for the foot bar. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna make sure that the sling is right in the front of the pelvis. And she's coming up into her high-heeled elephant. And for Christine, we've decided on a red, a yellow, and a green. And so she's gonna press back into her high-heeled elephant, so away from the foot bar. Don't move the carriage yet, though, Christine. Just move your behind back. Good, and she's getting really long from the crown of her head to her tail. Now, she's gonna push the carriage out. Her shoulders will go forward, and she's coming into her plank position, deepening her belly, really elongated in the lumbar spine, and then she'll hinge back into her flat back elephant, bringing the carriage in and sending her sits bones to the corner of the ceiling behind her, getting that tail to the crown of the head length again. Good, and we'll do that again. So the shoulders shift forward. She goes into hip extension. She's pulling her belly up and away. And then on the exhale, bringing the carriage in, the sitting bones go all the way up, and she's back into her elephant. So now from here, we can transition into that side body plank. So she'll move her left hand towards the center of the bar, and she'll go on to sort of the knife edges of her feet. Yep, and I'm gonna help her with the sling here. So that needs to be right at the side of her hip. Does that feel supportive? Mm -hmm. And then the arms down to the side. So the variation that we're gonna do here is the mermaid. So the carriage will move just a little bit. Shoulders and hips stay stacked. So when she's ready on the inhale, she'll drop her bottom hip and she'll look towards her feet. And then on the exhale, she'll lift her hips up to the ceiling. The carriage comes in a bit and she's gonna send the arm over the head, fanning this top rib cage. And again, with control, so really pulling into the belly, anchoring down into her left arm, that looks beautiful. And then exhale and up. And she'll do this a few more times. So I want her to get the sensation of her legs as a split pair of scissors. So she's really drawing into those upper inner thighs and exhale up and over. And once more, keep anchoring into that left arm, finding that left mid back and then exhale up and over, and then transitioning back to her plank. And I can help move the strap a little bit, and then back into the elephant. Good. And then, of course, if we were doing the whole full session, she would turn back, and then back into the same position. And then to get her out with grace, I'm gonna hold, she's gonna hold onto the bar. You're good, so put your hands onto the bar fully. Good, and then I'm gonna take the strap off. I'm holding on to the strap, and then I'm carefully bringing it around to the front and then letting it go, voila, and you're finished. <laughs> That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.